coughs it up. Cochin coughs it up to his opposing captain in number nine in Cripps. Now Fisher with a quick kick forward. Holding the man. Advantage, advantage. So Cunningham's kicked the goal after Silvani had an advantage played on. So Carlton break the rot. As we say there, another clearance in from, from Carlton. This time they are already at a contest. They are holding the arm and a nice little finish. But that's where they, they've just got to keep working in here, keep bashing in against them. Uh, they, they were obviously wanting a better start, but Richmond come out on fire. Cruiser, easing it down to Cripps, who might have been Carlton. manhandled. Advantage. Advantage paid. High inside forward 50, no one home, another hold. So this Sorry, works Levi. for the Blues. Big Levi Casbolt. But even that kick going inside forward 50, that wasn't in the favour of any of the Carlton forwards. Bit of a soft free kick there, but he, was not, he wasn't facing the ball. But even if that kick there goes, it's in favour of two of the Richmond defenders. That's not a free kick, they're straight out. You can see Richmond have the uh, the blokes on the outside if they did get the ball. Must convert, and does. The Blues get one back. And back again to Nunes. Gibbons, now Gibbons high ball. Now we know they've got little height down there. McGovern. Silvani. So Jack Silvani for the second time held on to. Remember Cunningham played on in the opening term and kicked their first goal. So now Silvani gets a chance to add one for himself so i think that's what richmond do pretty well when the ball goes up when they got a spare they'll have someone pretty much anchor down the opposition forward line but unfortunately that time there the umpire could see him he was actually locked him up you still got to go for the ball when you get in a contest with your opponent like that well he's under scrutiny isn't he silvani because of that famous name but he's played a lot of footy over the last few years as he edged at home he has a good start for the blues Holes have come from free kicks, so if there's going to be any holding away from the ball, if you're going to get um, stop them from running and jumping at it, there's going to be free kicks paid. Hold, hold, Sydney. So this is a difficult kick, isn't it? The one that Richmond have been so good at all night, and the one that the Blues have struggled. Oh, Carlton, Jack Martin, Jack Martin, Jack Martin. So Silvani actually took the mark, but. The free kick played to Martin earlier. So. Jack Martin's been a good threat in the air. More up across half forward at times. Has stood under a couple. And here's the block. Yeah, just bake it to his eyes off the footy there. Nice grab by Silvani. Be happy if the team ends up with a goal. But you're always a little disappointed when you've taken the grab and free kick goes the other way or goes to a team lead. So this one in the opening half, but gets the opening goal of the second half. I mean, obviously, after a bloke kicks a goal, you feel like he's going all right, but Martin's shown, well, he's shown plenty through his career anyway, hasn't he? But he's an important pickup for them, the Tigers. So, Simpson on the up to McGovern, to Kerno, Archie's back. Handball, okay, it was clever actually. Walsh turns around and directs to Gibbons. Oh, that's great defense by Baker. Martin's been very impressive. Can he shake the tag? He does. Oh, that's one for the highlights reel. He does look exciting, this bloke, playing on a good player. Just the speed, footwork, and also strength to get away and just be able to get that kick away. 25 years of age, coming to the absolute prime of his career. Yes, Greg Hickey and the medical staff assessed that head knock up here, but then they've taken him down for further assessment. Newman's ball was a good one. Wide open is Martin. How does that happen? And on the left, he sits it into the square. Some nice ball movement, run on, run on contact. contact. Yep. You, you and it's Cunningham. You mentioned goal smart, told you, but Thanks vision you. there. So he could have just bombed it to the top of the square, but he saw someone in the goal square and knew he had to get it there really fast. Cunningham. With the number third as well. And he's got his second. Two in a row blues. Smothered. Dangerous place to turn the footy over here. The Blues might be away. Givens. Silvani. Cripps. Beautiful ball, McGovern. Wants to go quickly. Martin, as Bruce said, is the story tonight. He's got a couple in this quarter. It's proving to be a handful, isn't he? 
forward half of the ground. This was the kick, though. This one here. The Richmond has set up well. Grimes was down the line for the long one. Pulled it in board. And then Jack Martin had worked hard to get inside 50 to have this shot at goal. For his third in the term. And get it back to 33 points. He looks really good. Jeez. This is a fantastic kick here by Paddy Cripps. Look at Grimes. He was ready for the down the line. Brings it inboard. The man who's had a really big impact in this third quarter, being forced to go into the ruck and shoulder the load. It's been turned around this free kick. Jack Martin's got it for an indiscretion by Trent Cochin. 50 metres against the Asprey. High tackle. Pay the 50. You went high tackle. You put his head. Pay the 50. Yeah, as soon as the umpire's been told, as soon as he goes anywhere near the shoulder or higher, it's going to be a free kick, so there's no argument there. He may have held him for a little bit, but you can't do that. So, could the Blues be the beneficiaries? Could Martin equal his career high here? He's kicked four on four occasions at the Suns. And you back him in from here, from what we've seen so far tonight. He, he missed his opening shot on goal, but he's kicked the last three. He's guided at home, and he's kicked four for the night. What a debut for him and the, the Blues. Caddy. Now Grimes all the way back has got a body line, this ball. Casbon will get a free. <laughs> nice kick inside 50 there, and just the pressure. They, uh, they couldn't get it out, which Richmond did so easily uh, early in the game. I've, I've been pumping up Richmond about their pressure and what their, what their brand of football is, but... Carlton have been excellent uh, as far as tackling wise. They've had 45 tackles to 17, and since quarter time, they've had 26 to 8, and they just had two in that play then. So they've lifted their intensity, which has brought them back into the game. Five of Carlton's eight goals have come from free kicks. This will make it six, and it'll make it a very nice start to this final term. 28 points. Closing in on big Nick Simpson as he's starting to close in on a lot of them at Carlton in terms of games played. Bradley the benchmark, Cunningham and up and under, he missed a chance a moment ago, McGovern front and centre and can go back and have a shot and give Carlton a realistic chance here. It was a wasted chance by Bolton down the other end as you said, McGovern just looking to give this one off, I wonder if someone needs to tell him to settle and go back and we will see on the replay here soon that Jack Martin again just the awareness he jumped behind McGovern there just pretending to go for the mark just to give a little half meter buffer and confidence for McGovern to take that mark clever so kicking right on 50 gee that's a good kick Carlton within three and a half goals 21 points to the margin it's the last time I'm going to mention BT tonight <laughs> JB do you reckon we'd get a wow wee right now if he was here yes <laughs> Lovely shot of going, a lovely mark. You wouldn't have said f 15 minutes into the game that there'll be this Here we go. back to two and a half goals. <laughs> tall forwards down there. Tresky Seaton off a step. Cripps starting to really become a factor. You. Lowers the eyes inside 50. Cunningham's pickup was good. Shovels it back to Martin, who's been unbelievable. Stands up in the tackle to Murphy. Murphy. Nunes off a step. What about this? It goes through. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the Blues have got this lead back to just 15 points. It's the one here. He was caught there. That's holding the footy, but the strength through the hips got it off and set up this shot at goal. It's amazing what happens when you actually finish off the hard work. They did so much work yeah. earlier where they couldn't capitalise with the goals. They're doing the same stuff now, but they're finishing. And so what's it brought it back to now? Back to 15 points. Off a step. He sees Murphy drift into the pocket. Murphy again tries to pick out a player and triple coverage. Dow back to Silvani. Sold on a little bit of candy and kicked a really good goal. He's second. Put at the top of the goal square just to give his forwards an opportunity. And then Silvani. Nice. Went for, for a snap, pulled it back in, and then it put a banana out the outside of his foot. Back to the three goals.